Welcome to the CSNRI training video for threaded fitting repairs with Trident Seal. Trident Seal kits are specifically designed to address the need for simple, instant, and permanent live leak repair on natural gas piping without relights or interruptions to service. Each Trident Seal kit is pre-engineered to repair threaded fittings or pinholes up to an eighth of an inch. Repairs can be made on above or below grade lines as well as gas meter sets. The kits reduce fugitive emissions and are proven to be durable for decades. Each Trident Seal kit contains step-by-step -step instructions, sanding cloth and solvent cleaning wipes for surface preparation, protective gloves, Trident Seal putty, pressure sealing tape, Trident Seal outer wrap, and compression film. Remember to check the expiration date before installing. You'll need to supply your own water, clean rags, wire brush, electrical tape, and leak detection fluid. The Trident Seal putty and outer wrap have cured times and will require you to move on to the next steps quickly, so staging the kit components in the order you'll use them is very important. Leak detection fluid or your company's approved leak detection method and a clean rag. Wire brush, sanding cloth, and solvent cleaning wipe. Trident putty. Remove the sticker from one end, lift edge of the plastic wrapper, but leave the wrapper in place so it can be easily unpackaged during putty installation. Pressure tape. Unroll first 6 inches or 15 centimeters and remove the backings. Set this aside until tape installation. Electrical tape. Leak detection fluid and a clean rag. Trident seal outer wrap and clean water. Remember, be careful when handling protective foil pouch. If the pouch is punctured, the roll will cure within the pouch. Compression film and a wire brush. And a pre-approved coating. Locate the leak according to your company's policies and procedures. If the repair will be performed upstream of the service regulator, reduce the line pressure to 125 PSI or 8.6 bar. Surface preparation is an important part of a successful repair. First, use the wire brush and sanding cloth to roughen the pipe surface and remove any excess rust, dirt, or loose scale from around the threaded fitting. Then, use the solvent cleaning wipe to remove any oil, grease, soap, or foreign material from the pipe. Unroll the first 6 inches or 15 centimeters from the tape. Then, remove the backing to expose the adhesive. Set the tape aside. If you haven't already, put on the first set of gloves. Then remove the putty from its packaging and break it in half. Thoroughly knead one half of the stick until it's uniformly green with no streaks. Remember the maximum mixing time is 3 minutes. The minimum mixing temperature is 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. Keep the putty package in your pocket or in a heated vehicle until it's time to install. Reserve the remaining putty if you have to redo the repair. Mold the mixed putty into a rope with a diameter that's about one-half to three-quarters the height of the female fitting. Place the putty rope around the entire circumference of the joints, pressing it firmly into place. The rope height must cover the pipe circumference while not exceeding the height of the female fitting shoulder. After applying the putty to the pipe, CSNRI recommends taking off your gloves and disposing of them properly. This prevents any putty stuck to the gloves from getting onto the tape, which can make the tape more difficult to work with. Begin installing the pressure sealing tape immediately after finishing the putty installation. Stick the tape to the pipe using its adhesive backing, then wrap it towards the putty, pushing the putty into the defect. Keep the tape stretched to maximum tension while wrapping directly over the putty. This will force the putty firmly into place. Do not chase the leak. Each wrap provides additional pressure to seal the leak. There is a strip of adhesive at the end of the roll of pressure tape. When you reach this adhesive, stop pulling the pressure tape at maximum tension, remove the adhesive backing, and install the adhesive section of pressure tape. If you have to start over, consider using electrical tape to help the pressure tape stick to the pipe and the end of the roll stick to itself. 
After applying the tape, use a leak detection fluid to test the repair for leaks according to company policies and procedures. The repair must be leak-free to proceed. Make sure to give any leaks enough time to propagate before wiping away the leak detection fluid. If you detect the leak, put on a pair of unused gloves and remove the pressure tape and putty, then completely clean the pipe. After completely cleaning the pipe, restart the repair. After confirming the leak is sealed, put on a clean pair of gloves. Then use water to activate the outer wrap. First, open the foil pouch and pour water into the pouch, submerging the roll for about 10 seconds. Remove the outer wrap from the pouch and apply 8 layers to the pipe. The wrap must extend 2 inches or 5 centimeters past both sides of the pressure tape and cover the entire repair site. To apply 8 layers, make 4 passes using a 50% overlap. While wrapping the pipe, try to occasionally twist the wrap. This helps it conform tightly to the pipe surface, especially at the edges of the pressure tape. Begin installing the compression film immediately after finishing the outer wrap installation. Wrap four layers of clear plastic compression film over the entire composite repair. Use a perforating tool or wire brush to perforate the compression film. This allows the gas generated by the curing process to escape. After approximately 10 minutes at 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius, remove the compression film. At this temperature, it takes approximately 30 minutes from the time the outer wrap was exposed to water to reach an initial cure. After ensuring the wrap has reached an initial cure, apply a UV-stable coating. If pressure was reduced for the repair, it can now be restored. During installation, don't forget to take the following into account. Use the correct size kit for the job. If you don't have the appropriate size kit, go up one size or use multiple smaller kits together. In cold weather applications, keep products in a heated truck until you're ready to install. Surface preparation is an important part of a successful repair. During surface preparation, fold the sandpaper to fit between the fitting's threads. Use the right amount of thoroughly mixed putty. Remember, mix the putty until it turns green and has no streaks. If you are repairing a threaded fitting, your putty rope should encircle the entire circumference of the joint without exceeding the height of the female fitting. Finally, keep the pressure sealing tape stretched to its maximum tension while wrapping directly over the putty. Do not chase the leak. Use the entire roll of tape. Store the Trident Seal Kit in a cool, dry, shaded area at around 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 23 degrees Celsius. Do not expose the kit to temperatures above 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 44 degrees Celsius, or below 15 degrees Fahrenheit or 9 degrees Celsius for prolonged periods. Be careful when handling the outer wrap's protective foil pouch. If the pouch is punctured or scuffed, the wrap will prematurely cure inside. Warning: The resin used in this product will adhere to clothing and skin and may cause irritation. Wear protective gloves while handling the outer wrap and avoid contact with unprotected areas of skin and eyes. If you get any of the resin on your skin, swab it with alcohol or acetone to help remove it before it sets. If you get resin in your eyes, flush your eyes with water for 15 minutes, then contact your physician. Remember, you can review the SDSs for Trident Seal products at cs-nri.com/sds.